Hi! Good day to all of us! Today, we are going to talk about what are the three possible solutions that the government can do in order to slowly boost the economic growth of the Philippines as a nutrition and dietetics student. But before that, let me introduce myself. I'm Angelica May Vidanao, a first-year college student taking Bachelor of Science in Nutrition and Dietetics. When you hear the word economics, what are the first things that lingers into your thoughts? Economics? What was that? About money? Wants and needs? Finances or production? Let's define it. So, economics is basically the study of how to use available resources to the optimum level. But, as of now, Philippines is facing numerous economic issues which includes low economic mobility, poverty and income inequality, poor healthcare and nutrition, and environmental degradation. As a nutrition and dietetics student, here are the three possible solutions that the government can do in order to slowly boost the economic growth of the Philippines. First is the awareness and measures against malnutrition. But why? What does it have to do with economic growth? Let's find out. Malnutrition is a term used to refer to any condition in which the body does not receive enough nutrients for proper function. Causes of malnutrition include inappropriate dietary choices, a low income, difficulty obtaining food, and various physical and mental health conditions. Undernutrition is one type of malnutrition. It occurs when the body does not get enough food. It can lead to delayed growth, low weight, or weight state. Lack of awareness in nutrition leads to... Oh! That kid doesn't seem to be malnourished at all. Look! His stomach is so large! He's probably eating well. Lack of education in nutrition at its finest form. Owing to a lack of nutrition education, symptoms of malnutrition are often ignored in the Philippines. A child with a thin body yet a distended stomach usually viewed as normal already, especially in the poor areas of the country, when in fact, this is an indication of malnutrition. That is one reason why education about nutrition is essential. Now, how can I help as a student? Based on my research, there are advocacy programs like United for Healthier Kids and its local partner organizations where we can participate as a volunteer or contribute by spreading the word of their acts. United for Healthier Kids, a Nestle Philippines advocacy initiative aimed at reducing malnutrition among children. It is a local organization who work to resolve a number of issues related to malnutrition, including food access, nutrition education, water, sanitation and hygiene, and nutrition in disaster. Participating in these kinds of organizations would help prevent malnutrition, leading to children performing good in school, people being able to achieve their full potential, and contributing to the economic growth of the country. Okay, that sounds good. Let me check their website and share it with others. Second is to get valuable education. Education is the foundation of the society. The famous phrases we usually hear. That's because of how education positively affects our economic growth. The more educated and critical thinker the workers are when it comes to their jobs, the more productive and competitive a country can be. So how does education improve the economic growth of our country? By getting an education in a profession that is in demand, you will not only increase your chances of landing a highly paid job, but you may also help your country gain productivity and a strategic advantage. Education is all about empowerment. It is one of the most important factors for retarding and preventing global poverty. As a student, we can contribute to increase the nation's literacy rate by educating more and more people. You may teach your maid, her kids, 
and others who wish to learn. If all the youngsters take part in educating illiterate people around us, we can make a huge difference in the society, and this would help the economic growth of our country. Third is buying locally produced goods. Why though? I want to buy imported products because it's more appealing, advanced, and high quality. Let me remind you that buying local products also means supporting your local economy. Employment levels are more likely to be stable and create opportunities for local residents to work in the community. It also develops local talent and creativity, as well as with buying locally grown food. Buying local and seasonal food is not only sustainable, but is tastier and often more affordable. In addition, Supporting local food producers ensures more money stays in the local economy and guarantees that food is delivered reliably from the field to our plates. Locally sourced materials and products has many environmental benefits. Did you know that? Food that is grown closer to home will therefore have a fewer transportation emissions associated with it. Furthermore, the money that circulates in the local economy may lead to more public infrastructures like libraries and schools and raising more money in taxable transactions to fund local government services. Wow! I'm speechless! That's impressive! Thanks a lot! You're welcome! Now, as a student, we can certainly contribute to the economic growth of the Philippines, even in these small ways. We just have to join forces. Because small acts become big, especially if done together. So let's root for each other and watch each other grow. Thank you for watching!